Toyota Prius 2024. It's always been cool to avoid spending stacks of money on gas, but it hasn't always looked it. The redesigned Toyota Prius makes a meaningful effort to change that. The new Prius comes with front-wheel drive and 194 horsepower. All-wheel drive is available, which comes with a tiny horsepower bump to 196. The 2120 HP Prius Prime is the plug-in hybrid version, which we review separately. For the first time, the Prius is both stylish and reasonably fun to drive, all while achieving better fuel economy than before, with an EPA-estimated 56 Materimag highway rating. It has a jump on its compact competitors, which are slowly falling in line behind the Prius by adding hybrid powertrains. A group that includes the Hyundai Elantra Hybrid and Toyota's own Corolla Hybrid, with a hybridized Honda Civic coming eventually. Toyota makes no significant equipment changes to the 2024 Toyota Prius following its complete redesign for the 2023 model year. One powertrain commands the Toyota Prius lineup. This is a 194 HP hybrid setup that uses a 2-liter hybrid inline-four gasoline engine borrowed from the Corolla Cross hybrid crossover and bolted to a continuously variable automatic transmission. Front-wheel drive is standard. For all-wheel drive Priuses, Toyota adds a high-output permanent magnet electric motor to the rear axle, bumping total powertrain output to 196 horsepower. The launch to 60 mph, which took last year's Prius an exhausting 10.5 seconds to reach, now takes just 7.1 seconds according to our testing of a front-drive limited model. That's quicker than both the Camry Hybrid and Elantra Hybrid. Thanks to larger front and rear brakes, the new Prius stops sooner from 70 mbps per than its last iteration too, doing so in just 171 feet versus 194 feet from a previous test. For the first time, the Prius now has a gauge cluster directly behind the steering wheel, but its location forces you to adjust the wheel far down in order to get a clear view to the gauges. The sleek exterior design creates a roofline that's lower by two inches than before, clipping some headroom from the rear seat. Base models get a faux leather steering wheel, but upgrading to the XLE or higher trim will unlock heated front seats, more cup holders for rear passengers, and rear heated seats. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.